Hey guys, welcome to my 26 week bump date. Baby is the size of, I forget what it was, a scallion, which I think is the same as a green onion. I think they're the same, they look the same. I don't know, it says baby's about two pounds now, so that's exciting. She's probably not two pounds because when we did the anatomy scan, she was in like the 30 something percentile. So she's probably a pound and something, but getting big. This week, baby has started to inhale and exhale small amounts of amniotic fluid to like practice the lungs. Also, it says baby can hear my voice, which I thought baby could hear my voice a long time ago, but I don't know. <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> so, I don't feel like there's that much new information about baby. Um, I think baby's just kind of like storing fat and just like practicing and getting ready for like the real world. So as for me, I am feeling huge. <laughs> it's really hard <clears throat> to get back up after I've been sitting or laying. I always find myself like groaning as I get up. I don't want to bend over to pick things up. I get my kids to do it a lot for me, which is nice that I have them to do that for me. But it is really hard for me to get down, especially because I'll be down playing with the kids. And then my youngest son, the two-year-old, wants me to like pick him up as I'm standing up and I just can't do that anymore. So I have to stand up, then bend over and pick him up. And even then I can't go too long holding him because I just get so tired. So I'm definitely feeling huge. My belly just feels enormous. Baby is growing for sure. Her kicks are so powerful. I feel her all the time. There are bursts where I won't feel her at all and then I get nervous and then of course as soon as I start thinking about it, it's like she knows and then she starts kicking again. A lot of her kicks are still very low. My mom even commented that to me yesterday. She was like, you're carrying so low. And I feel like from the get-go, like this baby has always been so low. I don't know what that means or if that means anything, but I feel like with my boys, I always felt kicks like higher, but with my girl, this one, she's just so low. Like I feel it all the time so low. I don't really feel hiccups that much with her, at least that I can decipher, but I do feel, you know, kicks and stuff all the time, but not so much hiccups. But I don't know if maybe that just comes more towards the end. I can't really remember when I got them. My second pregnancy, I heard it, hardly ever felt him hiccup. In fact, he hardly moved at all. He was a lazy baby. But I remember my first pregnancy, he got hiccups all the time. So I don't remember if that happened like from early on or maybe it was just towards the end of the pregnancy. I don't know. Anyway, my heartburn has been getting so much worse lately i have to take tums a lot more often in fact yesterday i ended up taking tums like within 30 minutes of taking it the first time because i kept getting heartburn and it's honestly just more annoying than painful because it just like it won't go away and then it makes you very like gassy like i have to burp all the time and it's just not fun and i usually find that I have it most in the evenings. I hardly ever get it in the mornings. And it's usually when I'm like laying down or like reclined. So it's just not fun. I really haven't gotten any Charlie horses or light cramps. So that's been good. Like that's pretty much gone away. And headaches, again, I probably get them maybe once a week, twice a week if that. Really not that often. So that's been good. It's mostly just been the heartburn and the gassiness. I do have to pee a ton. There's hardly a night where I can sleep through the night anymore. Usually I have to get up about two or three in the morning and go pee. Uh, there Maybe once or twice a week I'll be able to actually sleep through the night, but other than that, uh, I usually have to get up in the middle of the night. But I have not been having too much pregnancy insomnia. Usually I can just go right back to sleep, which has been really, really nice. 
It's been a lot harder to get up in the mornings. I find myself so, so tired when my alarm goes off to um, wake up for the kids. I push news and then I swear it goes off like two seconds later, even though it's been like five minutes later. It's crazy. I find that I'm walking a lot slower, doing more of a waddle for sure. I think I'm just getting slower. The belly is slowing me down. Um, and so I have a really hard time keeping pace with like normal people just walking at a normal pace. I have to like go double time because otherwise I fall behind. My back's been hurting off and on. I still haven't used my belly brace yet. I'm hoping to hold off on that as long as I can, but it does hurt here and there. I've been hungry a lot. Still not snacking that much, but having more cravings just for food, like in the evenings, I've been having ice cream here and there just because it sounds good. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but for a couple weeks now, I all of a sudden got a bunch of red bumps on my thighs. And they're only on my thighs and they're not itchy. In fact, I completely forget they're there unless I'm like in the shower and then I see them because usually I'm just wearing pants and it covers them up. But it's the strangest thing. They don't go away, they're just there. But they're not itchy. My arms have been itchy. I think just cause like we're in winter and the air is dry. And so I've just been itching my arms a lot. For some reason it's just my arms. My belly hasn't been too bad, although I do put lotion on it every day. So I think that helps it not get too itchy. I've been sitting here trying to think of anything else to update you guys on, but really hasn't been too much. I mean, it's really just kind of the same. I'm still in my second trimester. I'm almost done with it, almost into the third. I think the third either starts next week or the week after, my app will tell me. And so I'm just enjoying like the last couple weeks of just feeling mostly okay because I know it just gets worse towards the end. But so far it hasn't been too bad, just the heartburn and just having her time getting up after I'm sitting, which is hard when you have two little kids that like want to play with you all the time as so you get down on the floor with them and then it's really hard to get back up. <laughs> and also like bending down to do bath time or changing my two-year-old's diapers, like very hard to bend over, especially as the belly grows. But other than that, I'm doing really well and baby's doing awesome because I feel her all the time, which is good. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it. Sorry, it's not super exciting, but definitely stay tuned for my next update. We'll see how my 27 week update will be and what symptoms I'm feeling then. So definitely stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.